Professional Fortnite players are constantly evolving the game with new building techniques, strategies, and other micro decisions. You know, whenever I see a pro player bust out a new high ground retake or other strategy in a competitive game mode, I always wonder how they have the guts to try something new when the stakes are so high. You know, if pros can apply new strategies in high pressure scenarios, I'm almost certain that you guys can do it as well. You know, when it really comes down to is how you transition creative gameplay to real gameplay scenarios. You know, I see a lot of these creative warriors whipping out these crazy builds, but have nothing when it comes to the real game. So in this video, guess what? You guys are gonna find out how not to be like the creative warriors I just mentioned and actually use what you learn from creative to the real game. What's going on, guys? It's the Motivation Guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. You know, growing up, my favorite basketball player was Kobe Bryant. This guy would shoot like 20 shots and miss them all, but this guy had faith that on the 21st shot, it was going to go in. You know, many of us have made mistakes over and over again. Some of us have made like over 100 mistakes in one thing, but you have to believe in yourself that on the next try, you're gonna be successful. I wanna encourage you to keep getting back up, keep trying, never quit. It. know that on this next time you may just get it right believe that you can and you will you know why because i believe in you connect with me as soon as you can on my instagram you know i'm posting a vids to inspire you to be successful not only in this game but also in life if you guys are looking to get better at fortnite you got to click the link below to go to proguys.com where you can play with the best players in the world sign up for our membership at proguys and you're gonna get a ton of incredible content from the best pro players like benji and mongrel so if you guys want to compete in fortnite you got to check out proguys.com and be sure to drop a like on this video to show your support. All right, guys, it's about that time. Sit back, relax, and you better go and get my favorite candy right now. What is it? It's that bunch of crunch, and let's get this going. To become a master at applying creative skills to the game, I'm gonna give you guys a detailed four-step plan. That's right. This plan is gonna take you guys from step A to like step Z, all right? And if you follow it to a T, that's a lot of letters. I guarantee you guys, you're gonna be starting to find yourself doing things that you never thought you can do. Like, you're gonna be asking yourself, how did I just casually use this new mechanic that I've been struggling with for like months? It's gonna happen. With that being said, let's take a look at step number one, which is idea creation. You know, idea creation is exactly what you think it is. It's coming up with the move that you wanna master. Without having a solid foundation of what it is that you wanna do correctly, well, I'm sorry, but I can't really help you out. Yeah because, uh, you know, whether you want to learn how to do a complex tunnel or a retake that one of your favorite Twitch pros just busted out in a pub match or whatever the case may be, you know, it all starts with you saying, I want to master this. So I want you to say right now, I want to master this and think of what you want to master. If you don't even acknowledge the fact that you want to learn a specific move, if you don't even acknowledge the fact that you want to learn a move, how do you realistically expect to learn it in a short time span? And should I say, try and focus on one idea at a time, all right? I know there's a lot to learn in Fortnite, I get it. I was just overwhelmed for a very long time myself and wanting to master multiple things at once is just not all too uncommon, you know? But that's good, but you know, you got lots of ideas and all I'm saying is that you gotta take those ideas and filter them down just a little bit and just one that you wanna work on right now. And once you've mastered it, go back to step number one and put your next idea in the mix. Trying to learn a bunch of different things at once is gonna make your brain like overwhelmed. <laughs> you're gonna get a serious case of scatterbrain. Who's ever had scatterbrain? I almost go through that almost every day. And you're gonna come out at the end of the day with less learned than if you had, if you just started off with just one technique. You know, one technique that has personally worked for a lot of people is the ramp rush cone counter. You know when you dug Demodone your opponent as he tries to ramp rush above you? It's something that I've personally struggled with for a long time and I know a lot of people that I have. And so I wanna talk to you guys through, you know, how you're going to get over the hump and transition this into the real game. So just like that, step number one is complete. You have to decide that you wanna learn and master this mechanic. And then we can move on to the next step. And that is my friends, building muscle memory. What I mean by muscle memory is that you're going to go into the creative servers and you're going to master whatever mechanics you need to do to pull it off in the real game. And I want to emphasize that you need to go into creative by yourself. I know some of us have hard times being alone. I get it. But you got to just do it by yourself to get the max out of it. The idea is that you're going to build muscle memory in this stage so that when you move to the next steps, learning the mechanics behind the technique is not your main priority. I'm going to say this one more time. First, learn the mechanics and then learn when to apply it. 
if you learn when to apply a technique, but don't have the mechanics out of level where you can, you know, 100% do it, it's gonna make you hesitate and turn you into a really, really like worse player than you really are. And I'm pretty sure that you guys are watching these videos to get better at the game, right? Not worse. Okay, so I do wanna say this, do not get discouraged at this stage. The muscle memory stage is where most people quit. Gosh, I know many people that have quit and I've definitely wanted to quit a hundred million times at stuff, you know, I get it. But I'm not gonna beat around the bush with you, I'm gonna be 100% real. You gotta grind like for a lot of hours before having some really good muscle memory, all right? Think about it. Muscle memory means that it's second nature to you. Like, do you think Steph Curry just was able to shoot threes all of a sudden in like two minutes? No, it takes time. It takes time to perfect. And if you put the time in to perfect that you can be the Steph Curry, you know what I mean, of Fortnite if you do it the right way. So right now, you need to focus on repeatedly doing the same mechanic, like the same crosshair motions until you can do it with blindfolds on. And honestly, my friends, that's not really a bad idea. Try doing it with a blindfold on and do it a couple of times until you think you got it down until you know it's second nature so you can actually translate it into a real game scenario for many cases you know working on the crosshair positioning to get that cone place on the top of the ramp 100 percent of the time until you get it down very consistently you can't move on to the next step you got to give yourself more than an hour all right and you got to just keep trying so you've been working hard in the creative servers and now you feel pretty comfortable with the mechanics behind the technique that you wanna learn. Perfect. Now I'm gonna move on to the next step and that is application. Now don't get too ahead of yourself, all right? You're not putting this in a real game just yet. It's still a little bit too early. And like I said earlier, you have not learned when to apply your newly learned mechanic just yet. And that's fine because we're gonna solve that by using it in creative fights. If you have any friends, Discord Zone Wars servers, whatever the case might be, now is your time to apply it. And guess what? Since messing up in a creative server has no effect on your stats, no effect on anything, all right, there is absolutely zero pressure if you scuff it a bunch of times before getting it down. That's why I told you earlier to first go into a creative server by yourself. All right, so since you have the mechanics down, you can now focus solely on actually knowing when to put it in use. Hopefully at this point, you guys are starting to understand what I'm trying to do here. You see, everything I'm telling you guys is about simplifying the process. First, you focus on one single idea. Then you focus on one specific aspect of that single idea. You get it? You're breaking down the workload into small bite-sized chunks. And it's scientifically proven that not overwhelming yourself will lead to more efficiency in the long run. It's science, guys. You might have thought that focusing on the mechanic alone was really, really repetitive and boring. I get it. I, that's what I think as well. But that's exactly what I'm trying to get at. Breaking things down to where it's so easy, you could do it with a blindfold. And you got to do it to the point where you're so good at it, it's boring. And this step is no different. For my comb demo don't example, I went into a creative server and I did a bunch of build battles against one of my friends. You guys don't even need friends to do this. You guys don't even need friends to do this. There's so many different places to go and find other people that just want to build battle or box fight that it really, really doesn't matter. This process is probably going to take a lot longer than the muscle memory step just because there's so many nuances to applying specific strategies which are going to make it more difficult to become a master. You know, it's really easy to get decent at knowing when to apply a mechanic, but mastering it, oh my goodness, that's a different beast. Like it might take you an hour or two to get it down where you're like really good at it, but it might take you another 50 hours to actually become a master. Who wants to become a master? Come on, raise your hand. All right, that's a lot of you guys. It takes time. All right, so now you guys are done with creative servers because we are actually going to start playing in real games. You guys ready? It's your big day, all right? So tell your mom to get the camera and make sure to get that bunch of crunch. You already know what's going down. But you're gonna have to be careful with this step because lots of people make the rookie mistake of trying to force using different moves when they're completely unnecessary. You're like doing way too much. All right, so remember, your goal is to apply the right strategy in a scenario that actually warrants it. Trying to put your opponent in a spot that allows you to execute your move kind of defeats the purpose, to be real. Your end goal should be seamlessly applying different techniques and scenarios that would make sense to do so. You gotta go with the flow. So don't worry if you're not trying out a new strategy in the first couple of games, it's okay, it's cool. Sometimes that's just how the cookie crumbles. Man, chocolate chip cookies sounds really good right now. Anyways, but when you spot a situation shaping up where the move that you've just been practicing on for hours is quite relevant, hey, don't hesitate to go for it. You got to go for it, don't hold back, all right? You put in that time, you put in that practice, and now you gotta execute it. 
If you do this enough times, you won't have any issues mastering techniques that you previously have worked on in creative. And I know a lot of you guys also play in the competitive game modes a lot, and you guys need to use the same exact philosophy in those. If you've been running a new strategy with no problems in public matches, do not hesitate when you see that you can apply the same strategy in comp. Sometimes when you're under pressure, you freeze. I get it. We can get overcome by fear and all of a sudden we forget where we're at and we forget what to do. You got to keep moving forward. You can't give up and you can't surrender. Don't be hard on yourself, my friends. You're going to get through it. You're going to get better, but it's going to take time. Enjoy the journey. You got this. All right. So just stick to your guns and just never hesitate. You know why? Because I believe in you. That's right. The motivation guy, Keith Allen, believes in you. So your practice is going to pay off as long as you follow all the steps that we mentioned. OK, and you guys can't short yourself. You can't shortchain yourself when practicing in creative. It was incredibly boring for me <laughs> and for a lot of people I know to practice the same exact mechanic over and over and over again. I get it. But how else are you going to get better? How else are you going to make it second nature, right? And at the end of the day, you can now confidently apply this new mechanic that you practice for hours into your arsenal, and it's going to make you a more well-rounded player. So follow in our footsteps, my friends, and I have no doubt that you're going to learn whatever you want. All right, guys, once again, it's the motivation guy. I hope you enjoyed this video today. You got to keep going. Climb up that mountain, man. It's worth the journey. But the journey is what prepares us for the things that we're going to be doing. All right. So I'm telling you, keep going. Connect with me on my Instagram. I'm posting up this to inspire you to be great, not only in this game, but also in life. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We really, really do. Don't forget to use code ProGuides when you make any sort of purchases. It really helps us out, and we really do appreciate it. Comment down below what you guys thought about the video and what you like to see next. We aim to bring you guys daily quality content, so do us a favor by liking this video, subscribe to the channel, and show ProGuides.com some love for bringing you this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.